Hi, I'm Derek Simpson, Executive Director of Long Beach Community Action Partnership and PadNet TV, here on what is a beautiful and historic day in the city of Long Beach. We're about to show you the inauguration ceremony, followed by one of the biggest and most exciting parties in the city of Long Beach so far this year. Uh, what are your thoughts as you stand here as the night is coming to sort of the climax of everything that's going on? Well, it's very exciting. It's a, it's a very historic moment in Long Beach. Uh, as you know, uh, we have five new council people. Uh, for the first time, four women on the council, three African Americans, two Hispanics, a uh, Persian American woman, a Indian American woman, and, uh, and a mayor that is 36 and uh, openly gay and bilingual and, uh, and, uh, and quite a guy. What's going to make him a great mayor is that he can identify with quite a bit of folks in the city. Um, not only people that he might look like, but also the fact that he's young, progressive. Um, and a lot of the youth that are in the city are looking up to him as a role model. It's, it's a, a group of people who have diverse backgrounds, who come in with diverse perspectives uh, and, and different types of uh, ideas and how to move the city forward. And I'm really, really looking forward to working with these people. Now, I just peeped into the council meeting that started at 4. Yes. You guys had one item on the agenda, and that was? <laughs> that was for vice mayor. And uh, there were two nominations, and our new vice mayor is now Suja Lowenthal. Okay, so we're here with Councilwoman Stacy Mungo of the 5th District. How does the day feel for you? It's an exciting time. We're all excited to serve, and today's the first day of that. And here we go. It's going to be a, a wild ride. Now, as we were talking earlier, you talked about one thing that you've already done that you think is pretty cool for your office. Yes, um, it's really important to me that constituents have access to the people that represent them. And so we want it to be easy. We don't want people to have to go on a website and click 15 times to find a phone number. So for Council District 5, dial 5555. So city numbers start with 570, and then we're going to be 5555. Some special guests joining me here that are special to us here at PadNet. What do you think about today so far? I think it's wonderful. It's always great to have hope and renewal. I love hearing the speeches because they can all don't have to talk about a specific issue on a, an agenda. They can talk about what's important to them and, and their future and dreams, and I'm looking forward to it. I, I just think it's a great day for Long Beach, this uh, new city council that's uh, coming together with the uh, existing. Just, uh, it, it, I, can, I can feel the spirit of collaboration there, which is, uh, is just a positive for, uh, for the city of Long Beach. So I'm really happy to be here, and, and uh, it's just a great day for Long Beach. Now, do you have a lot of family here this evening? I do. My parents are here, Vincent Isabel, my uh, son Zorian, my brother. Yeah, the whole family. The whole familia. Yeah. yeah. So, so your son, now he sees mom on TV, he yeah. sees her, and all this new, this is all new to him, yes. new to you as well, but what's exciting for him about this? He is actually swearing me in today, so oh, cool. I'm probably, I think, the only elected official at this point that's um, being sworn in by a family member, I think, so it's exciting for him to be on stage and, um, and just be part of the moment, so I'm, I'm very happy for for him. So when you think about this event today, what's been most impressive to you so far? Um, just the way everything's organized and seeing all the people and it's exciting. Now I hear there's pretty special festivities lined up for later on tonight. What do you think? Uh, yes, I think it's a very historic day for Long Beach and I think they're doing an absolutely wonderful job of organizing it and bringing all the people together and I heard that this morning there was a really, really nice prayer service held and our boss, Laura Dowd, is being sworn in again for her third term and we're very excited and we're very happy. Is there any one particular thing that if you could really just get the mayor and the council to really focus on that one thing that you think would be exciting for the city that you would just love to say? Well, you know, I, I think the... Uh the thing you would expect me to say is focus completely on policing, you know, uh, but I won't say that because I think we've done a good job as a city uh, trying to be sensitive to the fact that it's a full package, that uh, we try and make our community safer, but you do that not only by funding police, but also by, by looking at the fire picture, by libraries, by parks, and so many of the other uh, city departments that also have a role in, in making this the complete city. Uh, certainly public safety, I believe, is a foundation for everything else we build on that. Uh, so I look forward to working uh, with the city council and, and uh, you know, our, our staff and all the city departments and 
putting together that full package for the people of Long Beach so that we have a city that others uh, from around the country and around the world look to as a model. What would you say to the city of Long Beach? You guys are here to help. What would you like to see from the rest of the city of Long Beach to be supportive of our new mayor and our new city council? Oh wow, that's a really good question. I would like to say to the city of Long Beach to embrace diversity no matter what form it comes in. Of all the festivities that you've heard of tonight, what are you looking forward to most? The after party! <laughs> you know, I've never been to an inauguration <laughs> event, so I have no idea what to expect. So I'm looking forward to it from start to finish. And I don't want to be the one that comes between you and that party. So thank you very much. Fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right now, all the citizens of Long Beach that could make it today are inside for the inauguration event. It's packed house. The line was maybe 50 people deep at certain times. Very exciting because everyone is looking forward to the new leadership that we have in our great city. I'm absolutely honored to be representing a district that I'm so crazily, uh, deeply in love with. It is my privilege, I mean privilege, and honor to serve you. Together, we will reach new heights. Thank you for all your love and support. So I want to thank the residents of the 7th District for having that trust and faith in electing me to serve as their council member for the 7th District. We've come a long way, folks, but uh, this election is about the future. I. I, Robert Garcia. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and what I love about our city the most is that you can find the American dream here. There is an opportunity here for everyone to succeed, no matter the color of their skin, no matter who they love, no matter where they live or where they're from or what country they were born in. There is a place in Long Beach and acceptance in Long Beach, but I think is a really special thing about our city. Welcome to the Pacific Ballroom. Come on in to the after party. We've got drummers outside. We've got citizens inside. We've got a DJ. We've got lots of people having fun, and we're welcoming you to join us as well. We're about to begin the party that's after the inauguration ceremonies. It's a great evening. You've seen many elections in the city of Long Beach. What do you think is special about tonight? I think what's really special about it, first of all, I think the whole idea of having a public reception after the inauguration is a great idea, and I applaud Robert for having come up with that to involve the whole community. And I, I think one of the more special things about this election, honestly, is that we do have a lot of new faces. So, Max, you see it's looking really good inside. What do you think about tonight? Tonight is really awesome. You know, it's going to be a new era in the city with the new mayor and some of the new council people and other elected officials. And this place is awesome, the way they have it set up tonight for the after party to celebrate all of the uh, festivities. So I think it's going to be nice. Now, Children Today has a very special role in all of this as well. Can you share what that is? Yes, so we are hosting this event, and this event will not only allow us to celebrate the elected officials, but it's also a fundraiser that is intended to support our programs for children that are experiencing homelessness here in the city of Long Beach. And, you know, kind of going back to this idea of belonging, um, I think that that the support that we receive from this particular event ensures that our children who are homeless in the streets today in Long Beach have a safe place where they do have a sense of belonging, a place where they can establish some roots. So when you look around tonight, what strikes you most about what's going on? I think the vibrancy of the whole room, people are very passionate about the direction that Long Beach is going in. We've got a mayor that's very excited in the direction and a council is very energetic on moving things forward. You know, I looked at everyone on the stage, I looked around, and I just feel like this, this looks like Long Beach. It feels like Long Beach, it looks like Long Beach. And when it feels like that in my heart, I just, it's right. And I'm so proud of this city that naturally and organically, they elected a team of people that is reflective of this entire city. I'm, I'm really excited and touched, touched to be here at this time. 
You know, Union Pacific's a proud partner with the city of Long Beach and the port of Long Beach. And when this opportunity came up to partner with our wonderful new mayor and the city council and all the new leadership, we couldn't say no. I'm excited. I love it. This is a great city. This is the city where I found my wings to fly in Cal State Long Beach. And I hope that I can motivate and help young people be set up for success because I think that that's what a community is all about. Everybody feeling like they can succeed in whatever way they can. And I'm, I, I'm excited to do that. When you think about the energy in the room and everything that's happened today, how does that look for the future of Long Beach? Well, I think if the, if the whole council, the whole city works together as well as they did tonight, we're in good shape, really good shape. You know, starting from the interface, interface service till tonight, it's been a really great day for Long Beach. I'm really proud of all the elected leadership and new council members. Uh, it's an honor to be mayor, and I'm just excited about all the hard work we have to do. And when you look out there tonight and see all the people out there that are yelling, I love you, Robert, and all the energy in this room, sure. how does that make you feel? I, I mean, it feels great, but I, I just want to get to work and do a good job for everyone, so it's exciting. We've come to an end of the inaugural evening, but the beginning of a great new day in the history of Long Beach. I'm Derek Simpson saying thank you for joining us on Padnet.tv. Good night.